Hey friends, the other book we'll be reading today is The Mitten. Uh, prevent the glare so you can see. The Mitten. Once there was a boy named Nicky. He wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, Grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nick wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nick went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole tired from tunneling all, all, along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Ooh. A snowshoe rabbit came by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten. He wiggled in his in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Next, a hedgehog came stuffing along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles. They made room. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl Attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog rumbled. But when they saw the owl's glitty talons, they quickly let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him thumb. Ooh, it looks like a fox might be next. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of a cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his nut muzzle in, and when the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Ooh, a bear. Ugh, I don't know if the bear is gonna fit. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up, not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. Animals were packed in as tightly as they could be. But when what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Bubba's good knitting held fast. A little bit.
along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than a, an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the bear's great nose. Ooh, I think he's gonna realize something very, very soon. Can anybody guess what it is? Let's continue reading and find out. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave it an enormous sneeze. Achoo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Whew. On his way home, Nick saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouette against the blue sky. As he ran to catch a snow white mitten, he saw Bubba's face in the window. She first looked to see if he was safe and then and sound, and saw that the steel, he still had his new mittens. Thing was, one was way bigger than the other. Here's, here's the one mitten that he had, and this is the mitten that all the animals were in. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!